Thank you, we're Protest the Hero. Can you guys see my dick at the back? I'm not super tall. But it's a good costume, man. That guy's tall. You got it, man. I'll go. Weird thing about this costume is like, you got this thing in your hand to like pump the thing so that it goes. I cannot stop pumping it. And like, it sucks when you don't have it in your hand because it's like really distracting. And the gloves are slippery, dude. Hey, Nick, how you doing, man? Nick Myers, I know your full name, dude. Holy shit. Woo! Now, so do they. <laughs> Listen, I got a bone to pick with Chicago. No, not a bone marrow to pick. No! <laughs> I might as well. Yeah, I guess this is bone marrow. But Chicago lost to Montreal tonight. That's the bone to pick. Fuck Montreal. And fuck Chicago for not beating them. What's going on here? Hey, cool it, cool it, pal. It's all good, everybody settle down. We don't need fucking fighting. It's all good, dude. We wanna play more songs, man. But I think this fucking boner got people riled up, man. It got all the testosterone in this room just fucking going off. So why don't we fucking chill, dude? Toxic masculinity. It's a real fucking thing and it's on display. My favorite way that the patriarchy fucks everyone is when they literally sell you products like uh, <laughs> dude wipes. Yeah, like it's just a fucking wipe, dude. Wipe your butt. Clean your butt up. It's not gay. <laughs> it's not gay to have a clean butt. And if it was gay, that's cool too. I'm sick of fucking stinky butt ass dudes, man. And that's just a minor way the patriarchy hurts everyone. <laughs> Is that all sorted? You guys all good? That was me who sorted that, by the way. You guys saw me. I fixed it. Did I catch your eye? Did you see that? I noticed when I started pumping this thing, you looked over. But you're not looking over now. Hello? <laughs> all right. So right now, first of all, I want to say, despite Chicago's horrible loss this evening, at least Toronto won. And boy, did they ever win. Seven to four. Another hat trick for Matthews. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. He's a generational talent. One like you guys will never see here. Connor Bedard can friggin' kiss my butt. And when he does, I'll say, Connor Bedard, you're from fucking Toronto. So congratulations, Chicago. Hey! <laughs> All that bullshit aside, <laughs> I'd like to call up my friend Billy. And Billy, where are you? And bring whoever you're with. This is Billy. Hey, Bill, how you doing? You give that a squeeze for me? Hello. 
You want to take this microphone? I think this is possibly the best use of this we could possibly fathom. Here, why don't you take this microphone and do what you got to do, my friend? This is sick. You're just going to keep doing that? <laughs> so, I can fathom one thing that might be sicker than pumping Rhodey's dick. What's funny is my, my lady's in there drinking PBRs, and I don't know where she is. Crowd surfer up here. Well, my, my, my question is, will you drink PBRs with me forever? She fucking said yes. She said yes, everyone. I've literally loved this band for like 15 years. Like, I, I, I truly hope every one of you enjoy this. I drove fucking eight hours to see the show. One of the sickest bands ever. And they've somehow picked like the two sickest bands to open for them. Yeah, but fuck. I I value all, you all. Give it up for Billy. And his fiance. God, I thought he was never going to stop. <laughs> That's nice. Now, uh, fuck, this song is about their engagement. Somebody threw this part of their costume up. She's somewhere over here. I saw her. Where is she? Do you want it back? Oh. I'm not wearing glasses, so. <laughs> and I have that exact same costume. Yeah. You want this back? Yeah, I don't need it. I have one. I'm so sorry for misgendering you. <laughs> My apologies. You're fucking hot as hell, though. <laughs> oh. Fuck! <laughs> Shit just went from bad to worse. <laughs> what? <laughs> We're not nice. Canadians are not nice, dude. We got a fucking mislabel. All right? I'm nice. I'm super nice. Except for that I'm apparently into fucking 17-year-old <laughs> dude over there. Uh, that's not unnice, it's just criminal. Um, it's a fucking different. Well, I guess that's not nice. Uh, <laughs> as Jerry Seinfeld all about it. Um, what? It's not even a joke, it's fucking true. Here we go.
Thank you so much. That one's a little rough, huh? <laughs> Scrooty, can I borrow one of your waters? I'm just dying. I, no, okay. <laughs> Thanks, pal. I love you. Um, I just want to say, uh, I forgot the lyrics in Underbite again. I can't fucking keep them straight. I'm a fucking moron. I forgot them last night, too. At this point, I should really review the song. <laughs> Maybe I should have practiced longer. What jersey is that? That's like a jersey sweater? What's on? Oh, it's Chicago, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you guys just fucking... Uh... The rest of the NHL is very mad at the Hawks, by the way. You guys have, like, just a couple down years, and then all of a sudden you fucking draft a generational talent? Get the fuck out of here. You know how shitty it's been for the Leafs forever? <laughs> all right, at this point... Yeah, you can give it up for Connor. He rules. Wow, that was a fucking super enthusiastic, guys. <laughs> At this point, we're going to hand out the award for best costume. I'm going to talk to our sound guy. Jonah, what do you think? You see anything hot back there? Stretch, you too. You can be included. What's she got on the back there? Avenged Sevenfold. She's Avenged Sevenfold. Jonah's saying there's an entire full wizard at the sound booth and he wants to punch him in the face. That's fucking weird, dude. Oh, Pikachu. What is this? Oh, Eevee. Eevee? What's Eevee? It's a Pokemon. It's what? It's a Pokemon. Pokemons? Nah, no Pokemons, dude. <laughs> Sorry, I don't, I don't know Pokemons. I'm fucking old, man. Actually, you know what? Old people know Pokemons. They came in like the fucking 80s, dude. What's going on, dude? You came all the way from UK? Oh, you, yeah, that's right. You moved to New York. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, what are you wearing? I'm going as a white dude with an American conservative sock. Oh, wow. <laughs> Security, can we get that guy the fuck out of here? <laughs> there's, a, there's a Teletubby in the audience. There's a Teletubby? Oh, wicked. But it's not Tinky Winky, so... Mm. Wait, is there also Jason from Ninja Turtles? You see Jason? Oh, from the Ninja Turtles. Fuck yeah, dude. Casey? Casey? Ben likes Casey that. Casey Jones. Casey Jones. Oh, yeah. Casey Jones, my bad. I see. Thank you for the correction. What are you, what are you, you waving at me? What do you want? Oh, hey. <laughs> What's that guy with that beard on? What are you supposed to be? Oh, I fucking know. <laughs> I don't know. What do we got here? You got some suspenders on? Oh. <laughs> yeah, I think the wizard. We're getting some votes for the wizard from the back of the room. Right, right there. I love the chipmunks. I do. I took a picture with them earlier. But I think it goes to the wizard. I haven't even seen him. Get up here, wizard. We got something for you. And it sucks big time. <laughs> Oh, it's got eyebrows? Oh, hell yeah. You win big time. It's got a witch hat. Come on up here. Can you get up here? That's a bear cave. Yeah. Yeah. They just need to be good wizards? Oh, thanks for the clarification, dude with the fucking necklace. <laughs> this is a button for you. And we're gonna take a picture. Oh shit. I'm not gonna tell them what you said because that was racist. Uh, <laughs> don't worry, Henry, she didn't mean it. <laughs> okay. I forgive her. There's a staircase over there. You don't have to you don't have to. Ray, you wanna do a cockfight? Get over here. Just trying to disjoint the evening as much as possible. Ray kind of lost his cock piece. Cool. <laughs> Give it up for Moon Dude.
We got two songs left. Goes out to Moon Tooth, the Cali Style Boys, and the band who opened, who I'm not sure their name. Thank you, Chicago. I feel like the novelty of this stupid dick has worn off. I'm talking about just myself, personally. This stupid dick. What is that? You got, okay, protest the hero. Yeah, that's us. Is that just, they says that? That's great, dude. <laughs> I, I remember when we opened from Trivium. That was 2004, I think, or five. Four? There was a dickhead who booed us, and it was like, we suck, yeah? Oh, there was lots of them. Dude, I think there's a more appropriate time for this conversation. Now, here's something that I do want to say. Um, holy fuck. I at the merch booth. What? We're not a fucking jukebox. <laughs> so here's the thing. At the merch booth, and I'm not trying to get you to spend any money. That's not what I'm trying to do. That'd be cool, but... Uh, shh, shh. I'm trying to talk about something fucking super serious. There is a fucking box at the merch booth where you can take a free gibbet for your croc, but you gotta leave one. So if you're wearing crocs and you got gibbets on, you go put a gibbet in there and you take one of mine. You don't know what gibbets are? Do some research, baby. This song's called Heretics and Killers. Right now!